It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes, it's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? Chateau de Chipo, 1775. I don't quite see how it can fly. I don't understand that technical stuff. Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Nah, there's printer's ink on the sheets.
Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. I bet it calls the butler just like on TV. Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. Hey, lady. Yes, Mr. Washington? My name's not Washington, it's Hoagie. <laughs> That's funny, Mr. Washington. Imagine being named after a sandwich. You're right, I am Washington. I knew it! Don't you have any cleaning supplies? Like most maids, I keep them on my cart, in the hall. I'll let you get back to your work. Yes, there's lots to be done. Don't touch that or all done here. Bye now. The water's all sudsy now. Nothing to clean in here. Trying to get back to the future? <laughs> Laughed at by a horse. Whoa. Hi. Hi there. Still trying to get back to the future? <laughs> Laughed at by a horse. Whoa. Ahem. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. It's blocked up with somebody's bed.
Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. Oh no! I've lost it! Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. I don't wanna. Use it for what? Yo, I... Yo, I... I don't do cruelty to animals, no matter how vicious. <coughs> Yo, I... Where am I gonna put it?
Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. Let's dig these.
can't get close to him. This ought to be good. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. Another specimen. There's no way to open it. Why would I want to get through there anyway? It's a two-story drop to the showroom floor. <laughs> Stupid tentacle. Hmm, looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. He's frozen solid! Nobody I know. It looks like a poodle I once knew. Hmm, how decorative. In commemoration of the Constitutional Convention interred by Thomas Jefferson, A.D. 1790. Run over by a plow, A.D. 1795. Sorry about the dents. It's a dented old can. I can't pick it up. Maybe I can open it. I can't do it with my bare hands. Chateau de Cheap, 1775. What an interesting mannequin! It's that guy from the Hawaiian cop show. Groovy. <laughs>
I almost killed myself on a pair of those ones. Great Scott! You're purple! Uh, um... Yes? Well, don't you just look good enough to eat? What's that supposed to mean? You're not a human sympathizer, are you? I think humans are the vilest creatures on the planet. That's the spirit. You know, I'm working on a way to get rid of the humans once and for all. So, what are you plotting? I'm building a shrinking ray, which I can use to shrink those pesky humans out of my sight for good. Tell me more about this shrinking ray of yours. I call it the Diminuator. The biggest problem left is to design a trigger that doesn't require fingers. Say, you look kind of familiar. Of course I do, Nitwit. I'm Purple Tentacle, renowned world conqueror. Are you the same Purple Tentacle who knew Dr. Fred? Up on your ancient history, are you? Yes, I remember that insignificant insect. If you will excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know, eh? I want to ask you something. It may trouble you. Ask away, sir. I can take it. I've got a strong stomach, nerves of steel, bowels of brass. So can it, son. This is important. Have any of your friends seemed a bit firm lately? Ooh, ick! You mean like non-squishy and non-slimy? That's right. Come closer. I've recently become suspicious that humans might try to infiltrate us. No! Though basically stupid, they can be tricky. They may be in disguise. It's already open. I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Uh-oh. That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. 